Back to our coverage here of the NCAA season 94. And it's uh, one of our fun segments here in our coverage. Smile your on cam. Of course, we're going to play with the fans. No, 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 no. I don't know, Bjarnes. That's CJ Cadwa. Yo, boy! <laughs> Sporting, di natin nakita to yung corn rows niya eh. Nakadurag ngayon eh, mamaya may <laughs> pagtinanggal niya. Makaiba na naman ang hairstyle niya si CJ Cado. Ang dalaro iniiba niya, no? Here's Charcos fires as we begin the second frame. And Edgar Charcos giving for Petwa the first double-digit advantage of this contest at Penn. And that's what you want from Edgar Charcos. Hindi nawawala ng kumpiyansa. He missed his last three to four attempts. But with all confidence hitting that outside jumper, to start the second quarter. This is now an 8 to nothing run by Perpetual. Aguirre, the floater. Walayan, that's off to the right. Great defense there for Perpetual. And then, na naman sila. Edgar Charcos setting the table here. Binigay kay Aurin. Kim Aurin on the hesitation, losing his man. Throws the ball away, though. Noah Lugo against Peralta here. Lugo. Pelayo with 12 seconds to shoot for Mapua. Bonifacio from the baseline knocks it down. Oh, Prince says he needs to know. He didn't get the memo. And don't see Barit Bonifacio very, very deadly from 15 to 17 feet. Yeah, kailangan lapita niya ni Prince says. First basket for Warren Bonifacio in this game. And that's an offensive foul against Kim Aurin. Offensive foul number 35. And the uh, face up jumper, the Warren Bonifacio. Over Prince Eze. Not, not give Warren Bonifacio that much space. Especially just from that, I don't know, from that area. Oh, yeah, yung uh, sweet spots there. Oh, favorite niya ni Warren Bonifacio, even in high school. It's a 15 to 23 lead. Bonifacio to Serrano. Fakes, takes the shot too strong. Na ilang doon kay Prince Eze. AJ Coronel, as we greet Bianca Camille, a diehard NCAA fan, a happy birthday. Maraming salamat po sa pagtutok sa aming mga laro dito sa NCAA Season 94. And hope you have the best birthday today. And we call a foul on the other side. No foul, that's... Uh, Mapua will maintain possession here. 19 seconds to shoot. Here's Pelayo. Players on the floor for Mapua. Pelayo, Lugo, Aguirre, Serrano, and Warren Bonifacio. Bonifacio, the jumper again. It's good. Warren Bonifacio slowly finding his stroke. Two of two for Warren Bonifacio here in the second quarter. Both perimeter jumpers. And Mapua not going away in this one. Coronel from the corner. Mahirap yan if they're hitting their shots from the outside. Mapua will have to choose kung i-continue ba nilang i-triple team, double team ito si Princeze and leave these shooters wide open. Six out of 11 now. From three is itong perpetual. Charcos gustong dagdagan. Wala yan. Eric Abel, the pull-up jumper. Too strong. Back to Abel here. Wala pa rin para kay Eric Abel. Here comes Perpetual. They go to the corner. Peralta fires. No good. Oh, Aurin retrieving the basketball, laying it up and in. Nagalit dun si Coach Atoy ko with that putback. Three yellow shirts down low. Nakuha na ni Kim Aurin ang bola and sticks it back in. Here's Bonifacio. Cannot stop the bleeding. And that's going to be a foul. On Perpetual. Oh, bola. Magsisli sa Mapua. When you look at this. Off of that three-pointer. Three, three yellow shirts. Nakuha na ni Kim Aurin doon ang bola. And take their lead back up to 12 to 11. So Christian Bunya. Checking back in. Alongside Lawrence Victoria. Here is Victor, or Pelayo rather. Off to the right. Charcos, the outlet. 
Out in, touchdown! Nice pass there for Edgar Charcos to a streaking Kim Aurin. Four straight points then para kay Aurin. Wow. Seven to nothing run by Perpetual. 13 point lead. Victoria, mahirap na tira yon. Charcos out there to let Aurin to Eze. Oh, could not finish the play. Here's Lugo on the move. Victoria, the double pump plus the foul. Victoria, just fearless with his drives, going strong to the basket. Vivo V11, perfect shot. Lawrence Victoria on the break. Ini was pa. Okay, Edward Ch or Edgar Chorikosion getting the basket and the foul. The three-point play opportunity. It's a 13-point advantage for Perpetual. Lawrence Victoria, a man on a mission this afternoon. Dahil nung uh, laban nila against the Letran Knights, he was limited to a point and three assists. This is, of course, not the usual numbers. Coming off two strong games para dito kay uh, Lawrence Victoria. Lawrence Victoria, alam naman natin na siya talaga ang top gunner ni Coach Atre. Because the confidence in this kid will never waver. Kahit niya, medyo hindi gumawa. One point lang siya last game. Pero ngayon, kita mo yung aggressiveness niya. Nandun pa din, knowing that he will need to be aggressive. Especially on the offensive end, if Mapo will stand a chance against Perpetua. Lawrence Victoria, now with seven points in the game. Gustong dagdagan yan sa ating free throw line. And this is for the continuation free throw. Lawrence Victoria, the third year man out of Malayan High School, cannot complete the three point play. So lead stands at 11 points. Peralta to Miguel. Nagahanap ng kakampe. Naagaw ni Pelayo. Oh, Peralta getting the ball back. Peralta all the way. Again, defense to offense. For Perpetual, just not giving up on the play, as simple as that, getting easy baskets. Great blow by, by Victoria, but could not finish. Peralta, ulit tumatako, back-to-back baskets. And yung Perpetual, talagang tumatako lang, trying to push the pace. To the delight of Coach Frankie Lim. 15-point lead, timeout on the floor. Doctor coverage here. Ito yung tapon kanina ni Peralta. Pero bumawi siya. Inagawa niya ulit si Cedric Pelayo. Getting that layup. At ito yung pangalawa. The outlet pass. Ray Peralta once again getting the basket on the other end. Samantala, puntahan natin si Roxanne Monte Alegre. At 19 years old and playing only his first year dito sa Perpetual Health Altas, Jello Razon already made a good impression kay Coach Frankie Lim na sabi nga niya, kitang-kita niya ang bright future ng young talent niya na ito. Sabi naman ni Jello, it is a two-way street of admiration for him dahil ang kumpiyansi daw niya sa sarili ay nakuha niya sa, kuma sa commanding presence at disciplina na binibigay ni Coach Frankie Lim. Pero if there's somebody who he wants to impress for today's game, that would be his idol, Scotty Thompson. At ang message daw niya para kay Scotty, sa NCAA journey niya, masaya na siya to be half as good as Scotty. Martin? Maraming salamat, Roxanne. Well, you can be as good as Scotty, though. Yeah, why not? Why, why be half? Oh, you can be as good. Oh. Don't ask if your dreams are crazy. That's ask if they're crazy enough. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Uh, oh, naman. Oh, naman. Especially in his first year here in the league, mm. he is way more polished than Scotty was when Scotty first entered the NCAA. But, you know, through the years, Scotty just improved, got his confidence, got his legs under him, and his timing. At ayun, naging legend dito sa NCAA. That's a good, I don't know, that's a good benchmark to yeah. have if you're a young gunner like Jello Razon. That's right. Abaka Jen Mike, it took him a while to become that triple-double threat. Oh, yeah. That he was, and the NCAA MVP that he was when he was playing here in the league. Coach Atoiko, not happy right now with his team. Nine-time TBA Critical 5 member. Nine-time. Fortune Cookie. Nine-time. Nine-time, wow. Playing, uh... For the Crispa Redmanizers. But this is a 13 point lead now for Perpetual Jimenez. Hindi makakuha ng bola ang Mapua. Jimenez ulit wala pa rin. AJ Cornell. 
getting the ball back for Perpetual. Seven seconds to shoot, Coronel fires. Too strong, the rebound. Goes to Bunyag, the save to Gamboa. Here is Noah Lugo, oh! And AJ Coronel, nakaabang na doon. AJ Coronel. No way, not on my watch. Noah Lugo. And AJ Coronel with that left-handed swipe, left-handed block. And he's had a lot of those uh, blocks in transition, preventing opponents from getting easy buckets. AJ Coronel getting the rebound as well there. There's Kim Aurin, pull up jumper. Malayan, Christian Punyag getting the rebound. And a foul on Jerome Pasha. When you watch the game right now, it just seems like Perpetual wants it more. Yeah. Daming instances na nakukuha nila yung 50-50 balls. Even yung instances na hawak na ng mapuha yung bola, they get those balls as if, you know, taking candies from babies. So yun yung kita mo yung sense of urgency ng Perpetual coming into this game, knowing that they will need this win to keep in step dun sa top four teams right now. They're tied with St. Benilde. St. Benilde will play later. And this will add a little bit more pressure on St. Benilde if they get this win today. Itong Perpetual. Of course, uh, both teams at 8 and 5 here in the season. Potential kagulo for that uh, fourth spot. And now, the Altas up by 11 points. AJ Coronel looking for a teammate. Binigay kay Aurin. Lugo nagahanap ng foul. Aurin, Cuevas, Coronel wide open. Pero wala yung tira niya. That's gonna be Mapua basketball with Jerome Pasha touching it last. 23-34. 3 and 12 remaining here in the first half. Another steal here by Perpetual. Cuevas. Aurin. With a left hand. Plus the foul. Wow. And everyone just contributing. Para dito sa Perpetual. As you look at this fast break play, Aurin. Reclamo dito si Warren Bonifacio felt like he was waved off with that right hand. Nonetheless, 13 point lead right now. Kim Aurin with 11 under his name in, in seven shots. A very, very efficient day for Kim Aurin, surpassing his season average already here in the first half. Remember, he was the high point man in their first matchup with Mapua with 22 points. Here's Bonifacio spins. Kicks it out, Lugo from the baseline drops it in. Nice pass there for Warren Bonifacio, even though he had that open layup. Nakita niya, ito si Lugo. It's a corner. Back to an 11 point game here. Two and a half remaining in the first half. Kai Jimenez. Jerome Pasha, Palike Jimenez. Jimenez off the hesitation. Coronel. Kim Aurin from the top of the key. Three seconds to shoot. Aurin. Difficult shot there. Victoria retrieves the ball for Mapua. Lawrence to Matakbo. Victoria hands it off to Aguirre. Palike Victoria for that jumper. No good. And Bunya pulls down the rebound. That's going to be a foul on the way up from Kim Aurin. This is their chance when you talk about Mapua's Airbnb. Don't see Bonifacio and Bunyang. This is their chance with Prince Eze on the bench right now with two minutes left here in the second quarter. A chance for them to, you know, dictate the paint and establish themselves down low. Mapua was down by as big as 15 points here in the second quarter. Now Mapua can... Or they have a chance to cut this to a single-digit advantage the last two minutes of the first half. You see here the cards of Mapua Exhibiteng, at uh, JP Nieles, Christian Bunya, two for two. So it's a nine point game. Two minutes. Cuevas to Coronel. It's been an eight to two run by the Cardinals. Aurin, Mata Atapika Nambola. Oh. 
but he does not give up. Gives them back the basketball. Here's Razon. He fires and he knocks it down. Yeah, you can't give Jeller Razon that much space. Jeller Razon already his fourth triple of the ball game. Four of six. Or four of five. Four of six. Four of five. 80%. Outside. Razon. open. Red hot from downtown is Jello Razon. Those punters na para sa kanya. And Noah Lugo. Gustong bawiin agad yun. Now at the free throw line, but he misses the first. As you guys can see on your screens, that's the Filipino-Canadian, Cedric Pilayo. Second year for Mapua. Lugo, one out of two. A minute and a half remaining. Points off three-point field goes not and Mikey. Dito Bumawe, upper bet will help out us. Itong tres ngayong araw na ito. Dalawa pa lamang mula sa Mapua. Aurin. Oh, the face-up jumper is good. Over Christian Bunyag there. Upper bet will getting their way here in the past few minutes of this game. Parang masyadong madali yung puntos nila. Samantalang sa kabila naman, parang hirap-hirap pang mapuwa. Bleeding for their points with that hard drive by Lawrence Victoria. Victoria's got nine. Jello Razon fires again. Too strong this time. But that had a good line. Victoria. Nabuwang ibalik kay Aguirre. Pero nandun si Aurin. And that's last touch according to our referee. Last touch daw ng Mapua. 31 seconds left. Pati yung uh, asa kanina. Hindi natin kung kanino huling tumama yun. It looked like it went off AJ Coronel. The call will stay. Cuevas. Pasha looking for Cuevas here. They go to Razon who fires again. Too strong. Two straight misses from Jello Razon. Noah Lugo will slow it down here. Last shot time for Mapua. Six seconds left. Lugo, difficult shot. The leaner does not work the heave, oh! And to the final buzzer, yung depensa ng Perpetual. Nakita mo dun sa final play dun against Noah Lugo and Perpetual. Again, game of runs. Who makes a bigger run? At ngayon, 11-point lead and during halftime itong Perpetual. After the 8-2 spurt by the Cardinals, siya nagot naman niya ng 5-1 run ng uh, Perpetual help Altas to take the 11-point advantage after the first half. Christian Bunyag, one of his baskets here. That's his only basket in this game, although he has six points. Here's Kim Aurin, a spark for coach Frankie Lim. Aurin leads the way for Perpetual with 13 big ones. And it's now an 11-point lead again, 41-30 to 30 at the end of two quarters between Perpetual and Mapua. Pagbalik po natin, halftime stats and analysis of this game. You guys are watching the NCAA Season 94 on SNA.